Hey guys, it's Francesca, and today I'm going to be talking about my two favorite mascaras for right now. So, I've already talked about these, I think, in like some favorites videos or something, but that's okay. I can talk about, it again, about them again. So, the first one is the Maybelline One by One, and this is what this, let me set this down. This is what this one looks like. And it is a, you can see this, like it's a very flexible wand. And I like bigger wands, so this is good. Again. Um, this mascara is like really black and nice and dark. And this gets all my lashes. I like that it goes to a point at the tip, so I can, it helps get like out here in like the outer corners. Because I always have an issue with getting those, or I will, and they all stick in like different directions. And this just helps separate your lashes, it gets them dark, it also gives them volume. That's why it's like Maybelline one by one, like Volume Express, because this is their volume line. So I really like this, and this is a good one. I've been using this one for like, I think like a year now, and this one's almost running out, like if you can see... Like, I don't know if you can tell, but this one's running low. So, I need to get any one of these. But this is nice if you have, you know, really light eyelashes. I have, like, light to, like, medium brown hair. But my eyelashes are really light and really short. So, this makes, makes my eyelashes look like they're really dark and really long and voluminous and I don't naturally have that so this is good and then the next one is it's also by Maybelline I love Maybelline mascaras I mean I I don't know what to say I've used CoverGirl mascaras, Wet n Wild mascaras, Maybelline mascaras uh, my grandma sells Avon so I have a lot of Avon things and I've used Avon mascaras and I definitely think these Maybelline ones are my favorite. I think, you know, they're not very expensive, they're good quality, they last long, and, you know, they're just overall great mascaras. So the next one is the Great Lash, Lots of Lashes. And I first heard about this from Beauty Baby 24, and this is the one with the, like, teardrop wand. And I like this. I normally, like I said with the one by one, I normally like really big brushes. And so when I first heard her talk about this, I didn't think I'd like it because it does have such a tiny wand. But I like this because I can get right to the root and I like to wiggle and then pull up. And I like that the end of it is thicker. So this helps, again, get, like, those outer lashes so it, like, flares them out and makes them look nice. I also like that, I'm trying to show you this, like, really well, how it's, like, spiky on the end and then there's a lot of tiny bristles. So I like that. It's good for your bottom lashes. It's good for your top lashes. This formula is... It is really wet, so if you don't like a like a really wet formula mascara, I would not recommend this. I normally like wet mascaras, and in the beginning this was too wet for me, because it would get like all up here and like on my eyelid and stuff like that. And I don't know anyone who likes that. This one, I'm pretty sure is also a wet formula but it's not as wet as this one so this one I would say you know use it for a little bit and it I think it gets better like as it sits for a while so those are my two favorite mascaras thumbs up if you like you know videos like this if you want me to talk about like my favorite like perfume for the moment or like my favorite accessory for the moment like something like that so I think I'm gonna start doing these like maybe like once a month or something. So thumbs up if you like that idea. Leave video requests down below. Also for more Talking Tuesday um, topics. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.